What's the name today? You'll see. Turn up the volume. Shh. Did you know that there are more than 10,000 kinds of genetic diseases? Do you know what that means? If you came to life healthy, that means that Allah protected you from more than 10,000 different diseases. And if you got one or two diseases, that means that Allah protected you from 9,998 other diseases. Humans in this world are like, you know the scene of toxicity challenge in Monsters University? Exactly. We are at huge risks if not for Allah protection. Al-Hafid, the preserver, the one who protects whomever he wants from evil. Of course, people should take all precautions. If you want to start a road trip, for example, you have to check the engine, the gear, the wheels. You have to keep your eyes on the road. But you don't have to count on these precautions. You also have to ask Allah to protect you because anything can happen. Tie it and rely upon Allah. Look at these people. They were staying in their house, in their room, in the first floor, and they were hit by a car. If Allah didn't protect your health, reputation, family, and fortune, danger is encountered. A cup of tea can ruin your face. A small candle can burn the entire house. We need the protection of Allah. Second meaning of the name of Allah, the preserver, is the one who never forgets. Everything you do, say or think of is written in your book. No force can erase it. You know, if you got a speed ticket and you go to the court for an appeal, simplest thing, they will show you your picture or a footage of you. Weren't you on this road? Isn't this your car? Isn't that your pretty face? Oh, you weren't wearing your seatbelt. And you were using your phone as well. Here are two more tickets, dear. Of course, Allah is above all comparison. In the judgment day, you will see your deeds in motion. And if you deny and complain, the land will testify against you. In your hands, legs and tongue. And you would wish if you kept your mouth shut. Third meaning for the preserver is the guardian of all creatures. The sun rises every day and we make appointments and plans and schedules and the entire life depends on the fact that the preserver will let the sun rise tomorrow. It is Allah who holds the heavens and the earth lest they vanish. We exist because Allah is the creator and we are still alive because Allah is the preserver. You know that every muscle in your body moves by electricity generated from the brain? Except the heart. It has its own three generators. So if one failed, the second will cover. And if the second also failed, the third will cover. Allah is the preserver. See how Allah preserved your brain in the skull, the bone marrow in the spine, the eye in the orbit. Allah is the best guardian. Preserving something is as important as creating it. You work hard to get in shape, right? But once you reach your goal, it's not it. You need to stay in shape. Can't go back to fast food. Same thing with money. You work hard to get a fortune and you work even more to protect your fortune. We have to take all the precautions needed. But never forget that Allah is the preserver. And Allah protects all his creatures in general. Every creature has food, water and air to live. But there is a special kind of protection. That's when you sense that Allah is not only protecting you, but also loves you, inspires you, and conciliates you. And if we want this special kind of protection, we have to pay for it. Be mindful of Allah and Allah will protect you. Pray on time. Give your zakat. Protect your sight and hearing from evil. Be mindful of Allah. Follow Allah's instructions. And rest assured that even... If you faced something bad, that means that Allah, the preserver, protected you from something even worse.